In this short video, I'm gonna talk about the stamp duty holidays and the impact it has on you as an investor and developer. So my name's Simon Zucci, I'm the founder of the Property Investors Network, author of Property Magic, the Amazon number one property bestseller, and I've been investing and developing in property for 25 years. Now over that time, I've seen lots of things happen, things done by the government to stimulate the market, to try and curb the number of private investors, and I'm actually really interested to see what the government has just done. The Chancellor has announced that until the 31st of March 2021, they are removing stamp duty for purchases up to £500,000. Now this is for first time buyers. If you are buying a second home or a property development, you still have to pay the 3% surcharge. Now the reason they're doing this, they want to stimulate the property market. And I think it certainly will do that because lots of people who want to buy, if they don't have to pay stamp duty, that can save them tens of thousands of pounds. However, the reason they're doing this is because they are terrified that we are going to see a property market crash. You know, we are gonna go into recession because of the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this means that, you know, it's not gonna be very good for the economy. Uh, Boris Johnson came out with his build, build, build speech, which is all about trying to stimulate the economy through building, which I think is also a great idea. There are gonna be some relaxes on permitted development and those kind of things. There's gonna be lots of commercial property becoming available as people realize they don't need these big offices. So lots of offices ready to commercial, to residential conversion. There are gonna be lots of retail units available. It's gonna be an incredible time for us. But does this change in stamp duty actually have any impact on us as investors? Well, I think there are two main things. First of all, of course we have to pay the 3% surcharge, so there is still a cost for us, but we've factored that cost in for many years. So the reality is we're gonna be paying less stamp duties. That is a good thing, first of all. Secondly, this is gonna encourage lots of people who might've been thinking about selling their property to put their property on the market because they think it's gonna be easier to sell. Now it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. The Bank of England have predicted, they believe house prices are gonna crash by 16%. And I think the government realize if that happens, it's not good for the economy, which is already in trouble because of COVID-19 pandemic. So they're trying to do this to stimulate the market. And I think it will stimulate buyers. But if you get a lot more sellers putting their properties on the market as well, is it gonna balance out? Add to that the fact we've got lots of landlords who've been long-term landlords affected by Section 24, more government legislation that came in in April 2017, which means that we as property investors are taxed differently to how we were previously. It always used to be the best to hold property in your own name. That's not the case anymore. So people have got property in their own name. They've had it for a long time. A lot of them are retiring early and selling up. Now you might think, well, why on earth would we want to buy it if they're selling up? If you come in as a new investor and buy in a company structure, right now you're not affected by section 24. So you can buy a property from an existing landlord, the same property, the same tenants, and you will make more money in a company structure than the landlord makes only in their own name. So it makes sense for us to buy. And also it means areas such as article four areas might open up with landlords looking to sell. So for the landlords looking to sell, more people putting their property on the market, I still think we're gonna see a property market crash. I have no idea how much that's going to be, but I think it's gonna happen. And actually, because it's gonna cost us less, those of us who know what we're doing can get out there and get even more deals. So I welcome this news by the government. I think it's good generally for everyone and the economy. I just wonder, at what point are we, the taxpayers, going to have to start paying for all of this furlough, for these cuts in, in um, stamp duty? At some point, we, the nation, are going to have to pay for this. That's not going to be so good, but until that point, it's not going to happen until the economy gets going. Let's make the most of the incredible buying opportunity we're going to have. Make sure you know what you're doing and always invest with knowledge invest for skill. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please click on the subscribe. We do new videos every week. Make sure you see them and I look forward to sharing in the next video.